All right, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you lot are doing well. Yes, I've shaved my head. My head is now an egg. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a Chelsea news video. All right, I've just watched Frank Lampard's press conference giving the final word, pretty much the final word on the transfer deadline day saga, and it's not looking positive. He's come out and he said a few things regarding Olivier Giroud, regarding Cavani almost, Dries Mertens, and indeed, just generally everything. Also, I want to report on Tarek Lamptey moving to Brighton, which is sad to see him go, but I understand. So it doesn't really all sound positive so far in this video, right? But I do want to round it up at the end and gain some sort of context and perspective of Chelsea's current squad, what it means this transfer window with the inactivity to next transfer window, and what Chelsea can expect for the remainder of this season. Right, before we get into the content, please do subscribe to Football Therapy if you've not yet done so. I upload Chelsea Football Club videos every single day, and I want you guys to keep up, so please do subscribe, hit the bell notifications icon, why not like the video to help a brother out? All right, let's get into it. Okay, before I do get into the content from Frank Lampard's press conference that's literally just ended, I do want to talk about Tarek Lamptey because he looked absolutely immense for Chelsea in his couple of short cameos he made. Right back, I think he's 19 years old, can play in the front three, can play in the front three, and in the right back position, looks super, super versatile. I think Frank Lampard did want him. He wasn't actually questioned about this in his press conference, interestingly. But he looks really, really bright, and he looked like he could have been a superb squad player. Now, maybe Lampard playing him was a sign that he trusts him and wants him to re-sign a contract. I think Chelsea did try and get him to sign a new contract, but he didn't. He had six months left on his deal, and Chelsea sold him to Brighton. Now, I kind of get it. He plays right back predominantly, and in the right back position at the moment, it's Chelsea's club captain, and then... Reese James, who looks like he could just be the best right back in the world, who is a matter of months older than Lamptey. So he knows, he knows he's not beating Reese James to that first team spot. So I kind of get it. it. You know, it would have been nice to keep him around, maybe a bit of a utility player, but he probably thinks, look, man, I can rotate in and out of the development squad, Premier League 2, come in for certain games, maybe be cover or I can go to another Premier League team in uh, Brighton, play for Graham Potter, who's a really awesome young progressive coach who does have good ideas. Even though Brighton is struggling, he's a good coach to play under. So I get it. I don't condemn the move and I do wish him well. I doubt Chelsea put a buyback clause in, but, but I think they sold him for three million pounds, which is pretty impressive considering he's played a bunch, like a matter of minutes for Chelsea. He's a teenager and he has six months left on this deal. I mean, that's incredible business, really, if you think of it like that. But I'm more disappointed that he's leaving. But who knows? Maybe Chelsea will get him back one day. But hopefully they won't need to because Rhys James should have that spot locked down for hopefully like a decade. All right, let's talk about the press conference. I took, I took some notes here. So Lampard was sat down and a journalist immediately said, let's play deadline day deal or no deal. <laughs> which he wasn't really interested in, but he knew it was coming. Dries Mertens in, question mark. Frank Lampard, a clinical no. Move on. <laughs> right, now on this, Chelsea have been contacting Napoli, they have been contacting PSG. They end other options for strikers. Chelsea were in communication with a lot of clubs. It does look like there is no deal to be struck, certainly with Dries Mertens. And if you know me and watch my videos, you know that's hugely disappointing for me. He, or he, Lampard went on to say, the window is 95% shut for us. And everyone that you question to me, these players that you pose in deal or no deal, everyone would probably be a no the Chelsea manager said. So of course, the topic of Olivier Giroud came up. You know, around the media today, Italian press are saying he was gonna not train and force a move and this is the end for him and all this. So Frank Lampard was quite passionate when he spoke about Giroud. He talked about, yes, he is staying. Uh, and Lampard then goes on to praise his professionalism throughout this window and throughout indeed the whole season. He said, no, he's not trying to push for a move. We all know he probably wanted a move. We all know he's been in contact with clubs, but he's never shown a lack of professionalism or a lack of respect to Chelsea Football Club. So he said he will not leave, categorically not leave, and he has trained today with the team, essentially. So he's basically poured cold water on all of those rumours, mainly coming from Italy. Lampard was asked as well, well, if there were any more outs, 
The fact that he wasn't questioned about Tarek Lamptey was interesting because he's an out. Uh, he said no, no ins means no outs. Again, pretty categorical when it came to that. Lampard was then questioned about the fitness of Tammy Abraham, obviously Chelsea's only real proper striker at the moment, and he said he got out and trained a little bit with them, but he's not entirely sure. To be honest, I would not be surprised at all personally if we saw Michy Batshuayi start against Leicester. Frank Lampard was then asked, is he frustrated or are you frustrated with this window? Because we all know you wanted to bring in people. And he says, no, I'm not frustrated. I know how the transfer window is. I think he, what he, said, he made it clear to the people in the press conference room that I wanted people, the club wanted people. You know that I wanted them because of the things I've been saying the last couple of weeks. But you know, this is the transfer window. Transfers don't just happen for the sake of it. It's just the way it is, essentially. He was then asked if he's disappointed with Giroud this season because obviously he hadn't played him at all. Um, and Frank Lampard was reluctant to sort of like answer this question. So no, I don't want to talk about that. Um, he's always pra praised his professionalism and I think he really does respect Olivier Giroud. It's a difficult situation moving forward. Will he play him more? I think he will. I think he'll have to. Um, I think he'll maybe turn to Giroud as the sub striker now, maybe. I don't know. I really don't know personally, but he was really quick to praise his professionalism and praise him as an individual Yet he wouldn't want to comment on why he's just not playing him and generally looks to have no interest in playing him But who knows maybe now all this drama has happened He will get some more minutes and maybe Olivier Giroud can benefit off some of the service of Reese James's right foot score some headers in the box wouldn't that be nice for Chelsea Football Club Frank Lampard was quick to stand up and get out of the press conference but I do want to talk about some things now because it does look like, he, well he said 95% done, but pretty much he was saying it's done. I think Chelsea would have to pull out some sort of magic trick now to get something over the line before deadline day closes. But let's assume there's no business now while I end the video on this. Chelsea have a lot of money to spend. There's a clear rebuild. Frank Lampard has talked about the need to replace Eden Hazard. He wants goal scorers. He wants a left back. Who knows? He might even still want a centre back. January is a very, very hard time to do business and you often get ripped off. And although Chelsea do have funds to spend, they also suffered big financial losses last year. And maybe they want to put all their big plans into the summer transfer basket or all the eggs in the basket is the adage. Obviously Chelsea want players like Jadon Sancho, they want players like Ben Chilwell or you know another top tier left back, players that would be easier to acquire in the summer. Now a lot of Chelsea fans understandably will be frustrated with this window, especially if you look at Tottenham Hotspur making signings, Manchester United making signings like Bruno Fernandes and of course Chelsea still have a six point buffer between fifth place these teams being strengthened and Chelsea not is worrying. But Chelsea fans should still try and be positive because we've got the likes of Reese James and Callum Hudson-Odoi lighting up at the right flank, looking very, very good and looking like they should get better and better throughout the season. The reintroduction to Christian Pulisic into the side after injury should be a big injection of positivity as well. And Tammy Abraham's injury is not serious, so he'll be back in the side. And hopefully, one of either Michy Batshuayi or Olivier Giroud between them can find enough form to be a suitable second striker to Tammy Abraham to see Chelsea out to the rest of the season. Of course, as well, I don't want anyone to forget this, and I often remind and reiterate, Ruben Loftus-Cheek's return to the side is massive. He will be a massive difference maker, provided he finds fitness and form like he's capable of doing so. If he does that, Chelsea will have a game changer on their hands on the pitch and it will be so, so positive moving forwards. And these games where they struggle to break down low blocks, I genuinely believe, provided he's in his regular form, he will be such a huge difference for Chelsea Football Club. And of course, something I've said before in terms of integration into the squad and looking very bright, Chelsea do have the likes of Billy Gilmore, who does look like a difference maker. Lampard was very quick to say after the whole game, he was the best player on the pitch. People can criticize that all they want, saying, oh, it's Billy Gilmore playing against Hull. But Frank Lampard was quick to say, best player on the pitch. There was also 10 other Chelsea players on that pitch. So you really got to think about that as well. There are options in this Chelsea squad, and provided they do iron out a few kinks, hopefully they can maintain this kind of gap towards the end of the season. And regardless to concerns that Chelsea fans might have, Chelsea will of course still be favourites to finish in the top four. It really isn't that big a disaster. It's frustrating, sure, but what does this mean? It means Chelsea have to really knuckle down with this current squad 
and it also means Chelsea will have much more money to spend in the summer where they will do a proper rebuild. Just fingers crossed they, you know, stay in the top four positions come the end of the season. So, it's been an epic and stressful window. Frank Lampard clearly wasn't happy with the business, but I think he's ready to knuckle down, carry on, and just see the year out until the rebuild in the summer but what do you guys think get in the comment section below do you believe that Chelsea still can get top four with you know Reese James Hudson the door on the right hand side Pulisic coming back from injury Ruben Loftus-Cheek coming back from injury Tammy Abraham's injury doesn't look long term is that enough are you confident there is a six point gap at the moment remember do you think Chelsea can do it? Get down in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this. If you have enjoyed today's video, guys, please do like this video. And I want to remind you guys that I'm doing a lot more stuff on Instagram. I'm doing live streams some evenings and afternoons. So make sure you do come and follow me on Instagram. That's at Football Yannick on Instagram and Twitter. Right, that's it for me, guys. You lot enjoy the football. I will see you later. Way so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chalk. In my life, seen trouble. Hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick. Got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle. Bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper. Sorry, I don't. I love me, baby.